<clears throat> well, well, well. You know, for those of you that have followed me for since 2015, 16, you know, I've been pushing real hard DDS and BBM, OFWs. I've been pushing to open your mind, open your eyes, and make you think. An OFW life is not a good life. It, it's a choice, of course, but it is not freedom. It's escapism. It's human trafficking. It's basing your life on the value system created by oligarchy. So, as you know, I did a live video yesterday warning about the bomb blast in Beirut, Lebanon. Lebanon is a powder keg. Lebanon is a wonderful country, a good place for OFWs, a, a wonderful place for TNT. But a very dangerous place because um, Hamas is not created by Islam. Hamas is created by Zionists, by Israel, by the Mossad. And, you know, you really, you really must open your eyes and, and pay attention to the truth, to be free, and to protect yourself. You have to make plans, you have to listen to warnings, you have to think clearly. Well, I warned last year, I warned 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, I warned about the Middle East. I warned that the, the best thing OFWs can do is save your money, make plans, go home. Go back to the Philippines. The Middle East is dying. The people of the Middle East are going to be forced to work. There's not going to be a lot of middle class families in the Middle East. From Lebanon down to, down to Afghanistan. I mean, you're going to see a major overhaul of Middle Eastern wealth. Because guess what? The oligarchs are creating a new world order. A world where there's very rich people and very poor people. A world where you follow directions. You have one religion. You have one currency. One government. It's happening now. They're dividing and conquering. This blast in Beirut is just the beginning. You had one in UAE. Grocery store. And they're all slowly coming to the top started with Netanyahu making a public statement that Hamas was to blame for the blast in Beirut. Well, my eyes saw a missile, but that don't matter. My eyes saw two blasts. My eyes saw a high-grade explosive. high grade, something that Hamas is not capable of. You know, Hamas has been launching pipe bombs, rockets made from pipe, cast iron pipe, rockets that, you know, and Israel has one of the most sophisticated defense systems in the world one of the most sophisticated militaries in the world, and a lot of nuclear weapons. Israel does not want or desire Iran to be on the map, or Palestine, or Lebanon, or Egypt. But Israel loves Saudi. Same blood. You see, sometimes you have to wake up and grow up. Sometimes you have to realize this world is not the way you think it is. Your 
mindset to be an OFW and make a career to be away from your mother, your father, your children? Lolo, Lola. What happens if the bomb explodes and your life is changed like that? 300,000 OFWs in Lebanon. Almost 20,000 are TNT. Not to mention other countries. The safest place for an OFW right now is in Russia. So, you know, when I warn you, when I tell you, and you don't listen, it's not my fault. And you can pray all you want. You can say your prayers. You can face the East. You can call Allah. You can get on the, on the hotline and call heaven. And you know what? Nothing is going to save you from your own stupidity. Nothing. Nothing. I moved the comments over because I'm talking. I, I, you know, I'm trying to say something. I can't have a conversation right now. I will contact you, okay? You know, OFWs, I have been working to help save OFWs' ass for almost 30 years. I don't, I don't have a program like Rafitoflu. It's not Arsenal Calbo in action. I don't, I don't expose the frailty of a dangerous situation. I don't have ego. Look at me. Look at me. But those people I've helped over the years, they know me. They know who I am. Every month, hundreds of Filipinos contact me. Sir John, I'm not getting paid. Can you contact the, the embassy? Can you contact the agency? Sir John, I'm in danger. Scammers. Oh, you know, it, it, it's just, it's a passion I have. Something I do well. I'm warning all of you. Get your ass out of the Middle East. Make your plans. End your career as an OFW and go home. It's over. The, the party's over. The bullshit is over. You cannot be a Kadama anymore, a nurse. Uh, you're going to lose your job. You're not going to get paid what you used to get paid. They're going to try to even force you to become a citizen. Your host country might send you home. Because the game is over. The party's over. There's no more money in the Middle East. I don't give a shit if they're driving Lamborghinis and Rolls Royces. I don't care. It's a new normal. It's a new world. And you're out of order. Still living in the past. You didn't save money. You don't have plans. You don't even have a fucking ticket to go home. 30% of you don't even have good papers. You can't even exit the country you're in because you neglected taking care of your papers. And then the first thing you want to do is contact the agency and cry like a victim. You're the one that chose to leave your children. You're the one that chose to put your ass in a host country. And you're the one that did not listen to many people warning you. Middle Eastern life is over. The Middle East will become the West. A Western mindset, consumerism. There's going to be rich, rich, and poor, poor. And the people of Saudi, the people of Dubai, the people of UAE, the people of Qatar are going to have to get on the bus and go to fucking work. They're not going to have a budget for a housemaid or a nanny. They're not going to have the luxury to hire accountants and hairdressers and nurses and Doctors and car salesmen and engineers from other countries, they're going to have to pull that talent out of their own ass, out of their own people, their own Arab culture. You know, most of you won't even listen to me. I, I, I'm the first person in the world to expose Beirut, Lebanon bombing. 
as a terrorist act. And not one person gives a shit. Not one fucking person gives a shit. I'm fine. You know, people are contacting me. Can you help me? Can you do this? Open your brain. Fucking think. Okay? I'm one person. If I can, I will. I'm only using this bullshit social media because I might reach somebody that has a fucking brain, that has a consciousness. I might reach somebody that can stand up and save their own ass. We lost two OFW Filipinos yesterday because of Israel, the Mossad, and their goddamn games, terrorism, bullshit. Beirut, Lebanon, a beautiful city, was damn near destroyed as an act of aggression just to blame it on Hamas. Y'all better wake up. You better get your ass home. You better do it quickly. And you better take the advice of a called bull. Okay? I'm serious, people. And by the way, the Philippines is not going to rise again. Ever. Ever. Until the people rise. All of you Filipinos... First of all, you're not a goddamn Filipino. You are a Maholican, idiot. You're not Catholic, Muslim, Christian, Protestant. You are a human. Your country is not the Philippines. It is Maholica, Gago. Your fucking Phil Health your DOH, your departments of health are putting, making money and it's just a, it's like narco medical. Hundred, over a hundred thousand for a fucking laptop. Excuse me. Two years now, Davoxa, 200 dead. All of you don't give a shit. You're begging for a vaccine that's going to kill you. You supported Fabian, that fraud, that, that scammer, that fucking liar. A universal miracle vaccine. Bullshit. Just like all of you idiots that curse me when I expose Kappa. Where's Kappa now, dummy? Motherfucker. Where's Kappa? Shut up, bald cowed bull. Shut up, mind your business. Hmm? Where's Kappa? Where's FLM? The Eagle of the North, huh? Smart asses. He's in jail. His name is Norman. I have never in my life seen a class of people like Kababayan to make a choice to be a slave in a foreign country, leave their children just to search for money, just to become a beggar. Western brain, like a Lushan, like a hog. It's time to stop. It's time to stand up. Get your courage. Open your eyes. Hold your leaders accountable. You're the boss. President Duterte is your employee. Kamlek works for you, Gago. Them fucking yellow politicians, they work for you too. Congress, PNP, NBI, the whole goddamn country works for you. But you want to do this. Uh, 888. 
<laughs> because your value is in money. Your value is in the world. Your value is being a coward, a beggar. Western brain. You lost two, two Filipinas, two Kababayan yesterday, two OFWs in Beirut. 70 injured so far, maybe more OFWs. You know, Lebanon's 30,000 OFWs. Wow. Okay. 12 to 20,000 are TNT. What you gonna do? Lebanon's bankrupt. Saudi is bankrupt. UAE is bankrupt. Dubai is bankrupt. These motherfuckers been driving Rolls Royces, Bentleys, Jaguars, Maseratis, Lam Lamborghinis for 50 years, 30, 40 years. They, they run out of gas, they leave them in the fucking desert. Okay? And you're in love with the money. But when your fucking ass is going to be stuck with nothing to eat, no freedom, Locked down on a compound, starving, barely having data to reach your children. How smart are you then? How wise are you then, oh Kababayan? Where's your brain? 